Hello and welcome to this webinar on permits to take water. I'm Catherine Ray. I have a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Sciences from the University of Guelph. I am a certified environmental professional and I've been with Dragon for 11 years. This presentation is targeted towards people working in the following sectors, industrial, agriculture, construction, and recreation. This presentation is going to cover when a permit to take water is required, exceptions, types of permits, associated fees, expiry and report requirements, either for construction activities and conservation practices to avoid obtaining a permit. In Ontario, under the Ontario Water Resources Act and Ontario Regulation 38704, you are required to have a permit if you are taking more than 50,000 litres of water per day from the environment. Examples include water bottling, food processing, wetlands renewal, and cooling towers. Exceptions include firefighting or emergency use, farm use, excluding irrigation of crops being grown for sale, domestic use, and certain grandfathered operations. There are three types of permits. A Category 1 permit has the least stringent guidelines and is used in situations where water taking is unlikely to pose adverse environmental impacts. It is generally used for existing water takings and no scientific study is required. An example is a permit renewal. A Category 1 permit is used when various conditions are met for taking from either groundwater fed or surface water fed ponds, or taking from the Great Lakes less than a million liters a day. A Category 2 permit is used for short-term, non-recurring water taking. It requires a qualified person to conduct a technical review of the proposed water taking. An example is a pump test to assess groundwater characteristics. Conditions for taking from groundwater sources. It should be a short-term, non-recurring taking less than seven days, or a short-term, non-recurring taking less than 30 consecutive days and less than 400,000 liters a day. Conditions for taking from surface water sources, taking from the Great Lakes at less than 19 million liters a day, taking from sources where previous assessments have been conducted, taking from one source for a short time and returning it to a nearby point with no significant changes to quality or quantity, taking less than 1 million liters a day twice a week from water bodies greater than 10 hectares in size, or taking less than 5% from river and streams with a seven day flow with a 20 year return period. A category three permit is the most stringent. It requires a qualified person to conduct a technical assessment of the proposed water taking and a pre-submission consultation with the MECP to discuss the proposed water taking and the details of the activity. The licensed professional needs to justify that the water taking will not have any adverse effect on other parties or on the natural environment. This usually requires a pump test collection of observation data, and a report with an interpretation or opinion. An example of a Category 3 permit is beverage manufacturing. A Category 3 permit is used for groundwater and surface water takings that do not meet Category 1 or Category 2 criteria or new takings from first order or second order water sources considered to be headwater streams. Of course, there is a fee to apply for a permit to take water. A Category 1 or 2 permit application costs $750, and a Category 3 permit costs $3,000. These fees do not include costs for the qualified person to conduct the technical assessment or meet with the MECP if required. A permit to take water is issued with an expiry date. It is important to renew before expiry date to ensure continued water taking. Expired permits for certain purposes can be significantly more challenging to renew. Daily water taking volumes must be recorded and submitted annually to the MECP's online water taking and reporting system. In some situations, you may be able to register prescribed water taking activities in the MECP Environmental Activity and Sector Registry, the EASER, instead of obtaining a permit to take water. For instance, the following two construction activities must be required must be registered in the ether. Site dewatering involving more than 50,000 liters a day and less than 400,000 liters a day, and surface water taking exceeding 50,000 liters a day for construction purposes. 
consideration for an easer for dewatering. It is for dewatering of groundwater and or stormwater. Stormwater includes rainwater runoff, snowmelt, surface runoff, and roof runoff. And your construction site includes the entire construction project. Considerations for an easer for road construction. Each highway project requires its own easer. A qualified person must prepare a report regarding the proposed taking location. You need to provide written notice to the municipality and conservation authority if applicable. And if the Environmental Assessment Act applies, then you must obtain approval. If you exceed 50,000 liters a day only a few times a year, you should consider using conservation practices to avoid obtaining a permit. You can store surplus water in a small lined pond tank on days that you aren't using your water for other purposes. Or another option is to schedule your water taking over several days to avoid the 50,000 liter threshold. In summary, a permit to take water is required if taking more than 50,000 liters from the environment. However, there are some exceptions. There are three types of permits. A category one permit is the least stringent and a category three permit is the most stringent. Category 2 and 3 permits require a qualified person to conduct a technical review. Permit costs range from $750 to $3,000. Renew your permit before it expires and submit your volume online. Road construction and construction dewatering should register in the easer instead of applying for a permit to take water. And you can avoid a permit to take water by modifying your behavior to stay within the daily limits. Thank you. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or phone.